ahead and get started. I, I don't want to drag this out. All right, so. It should be quick tonight. Somebody calling you on. Oh, Ooh, look Ooh. at him. Look at him. Let me interpret. Why are you calling me? I am live right now. What you got going on? No, you know you like that's what's happening. Back. You know you're supposed to call me back, and I'm sitting here waiting on your phone call. But I told you what I it's had correct. to do. It's correct. I told you what I had going on at 8:30 Eastern Standard Time. I feel like that's what she would say. Incorrect. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, hi everyone. This is I've noticed. Well, I'm Ashley Monique. This is the I've Noticed podcast, episode 12. Episode 12. We made it to 12. I know they ain't shut us down yet. Thank God. You know, Mike, what's his Michael Zuckerberg, whatever his name is. But all right. So make sure you follow the I've Noticed Facebook page uh, to get updates. If you're not already following us on our personal pages, uh, go like the like and subscribe to the Ashes Yummy Tummy YouTube page. Um, that's where I will be posting the video. So if you don't catch it live and if you can't interact live, then you can always go back there. I post the full video, the full episode, but I also chop it down into the questions, you know? Yeah. Uh, also, you can follow me on Instagram at AshleyMonique843. And uh, you can go like my catering page, uh, Ashley Yummy Tummy Catering. And my food truck will be coming soon. All right, you guys. If you ain't tasted her food, you don't know what you're missing. That's all I got to say. Well, I'll be on tour in June 2021. I'll be on tour. Does anybody know where my background's from? We'll give, you, we'll give you a, uh, mm -hmm. what, a cash app of $5 or something for lunch. Look, look, can, the first, can anybody... In the comment section, can you guess Courtney's background? Like, what crazy. what show does Courtney background? So the first person who come up with the correct answer, you get a private phone call, a private video chat with Miss the lovely Courtney herself. No, you don't. Only five? <laughs> no, no, no. Up it is? <laughs> wow, man, she put you out there like that. She put you all the way out there. So we got a, a private Zoom call, private video <laughs> chat. With look, the illustrious Courtney. Look, Kurt, Courtney's the Beyonce. Oh, Court. Kurt, Courtney's the sexy one of the show. So they be like, yo, what's up? What's up with the light skin and the black? What's up? You know, <laughs> so you get a you get a private Zoom call, you know, with her. Um, so we're gonna try to incorporate that like every almost every time until she be like, you know what, I just can't do this no more. I, I don't do want to do no more Zoom calls, you know. So I'm not doing Zoom calls, y'all. We're gonna yes, she is. <laughs> yes, she is. She's taking one for the team. <laughs> All right, because I sure ain't doing it. Anybody want to talk to me? Oh no, we gotta come <laughs> up with another. We gotta come up with another game for you, oh Daniel. You know, for the ladies, you be like, uh, so for the ladies who want to take our private Zoom call with this that thing. I'm good. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> no, look, look, be like, send in, send in your vocals to I am Rhythm, you know, and then we'll post the top three, then whoever, and then you get a private duet. With uh, okay, I'll do that. I'll do that, though. I'll do that, but like you know? actually be able to sing a little bit, give me something to work with. I want my private Zoom call. Do you need security? Security, <laughs> security. Um, uh -oh, you guys introduce yourselves and where they can follow y'all at and what y'all got going on. Daniel, go first. I'm doing something. What's going on, everybody? I go by Daniel. A lot of you know me as Rhythm. You can follow me on Instagram at I underscore am underscore Rhythm. That's R-H-Y-T-H-Y-M. You can do the same thing on TikTok. Um, what I have going on, working on an album. Uh, I'm actually working on... Uh, I'm also working on a script as well um, for a short. So, you know, trying to, trying to work on some things, but so I need I, I'm gonna need actors in the future, but um, f you in that Mickey Mouse reference. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, I know who that is. That, that's not a regular person. I know who that is. You guys, calm down. Like I, I know who that is. I mean, she you giving off the vibes though. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Okay, vibes. but you in this album? What's going on? Like I'm starting to feel like DJ Khaled. Like, do I need to send in the vocals? Like, I mean, you got a mic. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is. I can do what you want, Pop. 
still ain't even used this thing yet because I ain't even got it situated. My God, I'm gonna need you to get it together. I know. I I, I be having so much going on that I don't even be coming in here like that. If but you need week- me. If you need me to set it up, I got you. What's up, Brandon? Hey, yo, week, I need I text, to... bro. I need you to inbox me right now, bro. I need I, I need to talk to you about some text. I'm sorry, that's totally off topic. But I'm trying to get you at it before the summer so I can show some skin. Um <laughs> so I need I need you to I need you to get me right, Brandon. For real. I seen your work and it looked dope. All right. So Miss uh the lady with the background, uh I'm Courtney. Um, you can follow me on IG at Full Court. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Well, she don't have nothing going on. <laughs> that's why we're putting you Y'all, in the Zoom Courtney, background game. Courtney has a, a modeling career that she's starting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get her portfolio right. In you know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. So y'all let's get into the topics. All right. So make sure you follow everybody if you choose to, you know. Okay. So the first topic we're going to get into uh, is does having a backup friend, does that make your breakup less painful? Do you understand the question? Meaning you break up with somebody and you know, breakups are always heart heartbreaking. You know, you'd be so sad. You know, I almost thought that Define friend. That's what I need to know. Okay, friend. Okay, I was trying like a to side clean. chick, I, honestly, side dude, like you're cheating. I mean, honestly, I want to use uh because I learned the word whoop de whoop. You know, I heard a <laughs> I learned something. I was like, oh whoop de whoop. Like, yeah, you know, my love whoop de whoop. I was like, oh, okay. Sean. huh? When Sean was on, did he say that? He said that a lot. <laughs> oh, okay, because one of my cousins said that too. And I was like, because I didn't want to, you know, my one of my cousins said that. I heard her say that. And then uh, I was like, hmm. And then, you know, you know, with my personal life. I mean, yeah. But uh, I was just like, if you're dealing with someone and they break up with you, you know, whether you saw it coming or not, either way, it doesn't matter. Like, break up still, they still hurt, you know. Does it make it more less painful if you got somebody lined up? It's always it, go ahead, Courtney. I'll go after you. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I didn't want to just jump in. That's why I said that. Um, I didn't that no, double dutch. It's so okay. it's always less painful. <laughs> it, you know what the you know I love quotes. I've been given at least one quote ever since I started on this show. You know, they say that the quickest way to get over somebody is to get under somebody else. If you're already under them, because <laughs> you still like if that's your whoop you whoop, it's always going to be less painful. Does it make it right? Absolutely not. But to answer your question, technically, yes, it makes it less painful when you got a little whoop you on the side. It's always, in my opinion, it makes it less painful because who are you going to cry to? That <laughs> Huh? I've never okay. First of all, you know, on like three episodes of I've noticed, I have clearly stated I have never ever <laughs> committed any infidelity in my life. You broke up with somebody and then someone else helped you get over that breakup. I mean, in huh, that, huh, huh, Brandon said that shit don't work, just create stalkers. So who is the stalker? Like your side, your whoop whoop, your side person is the stalker. Like, how would she become a or unless your main person, your main girl was the stalker. Because your your side chick, she just went moved up. She's oh, like happy. About someone that you've been seeing while you're with somebody? Basically, you your side about, dude. You like your side about, dude, the side you, girl. You've you been about getting up under somebody after breaking up. Your side person. Like it's, you've been oh. cheating. Because typically your side saying. person, it, you're not, you don't really want to be. I mean, the, everybody that's watching, you can correct me if I'm wrong from your personal experience, you know. Uh your side person, that's usually a, a sexual thing. That's not nobody or man or woman that you really want to be with. You just want to see them doing roach hours, you know. I thought, I thought you were talking about like someone like, maybe not someone you met, maybe it's somebody you know or something like that, that you started talking to like as soon as you broke up. That's what I thought you were talking about. But you're talking about someone that they've already been seen while they were in a relationship? Sexually. Your side dude. Well, I mean, how in love can you be if you got a side person? I mean, it's not, it's not love, it's just about, does it make the breakup easier? 
does it is it less painful because you know when you're let's say you do love the, the person that you're in the relationship i would uh, assume that clearly but then they'd be like you know what courtney i just i just can't do this like you just started bleaching your skin and you didn't got light you didn't you acting like an aka you know <laughs> you acting like an aka you went from delta to aka now i just I just think we should part ways. So then you'd be like, you know what? You're going to be devastated. But then you'd be like, so well, I would assume that if you, well, okay, let's say that somehow you were still in love while you had the side person. Right. I still would assume that it wouldn't make you feel any better. Like, because you still, like, at the end of the day, you got to go home, you still got to deal with your feelings of the breakup. I just don't, I, I think you're going to go, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel, of course, the, yeah. but the thing is, what's, what's the, let's, let me ask this. What's the worst part of a breakup, even after a long relationship, being alone? Right. Like you're that's not, the, that that's the worst part. Anymore. Like, right. man, like this, my, I can't feel you. I can't touch you. I can't smell you. So like now it's like you're feeling and touching somebody else. You've been already feeling and touching. And it's like, okay, now it's more, it's kind of like, a, all right, you're in the game now. <laughs> it wouldn't be the same. You said, would it be the same? It, it wouldn't be the same because you have feelings attached to that person. You know what I mean? Like, it's more than just the touch. You know what I mean? But you're hey, still I not think, alone. That's right, my point. I think, I think it's more of like a, like a, like a, uh, like a plug, just, you know, just a pacifier. Like the pain isn't gone, of course. You can't right. just, no, right. it's just more of a pacifier. Like, see, like getting over it faster because maybe you got your mind taken off of it. Like if you're focusing on what you got going on with the side person at that point. But that's I, what, that's the point. And that's what make it hurt less. That because faster doesn't make the breakup easier. Right. I just think it subsides the pain. That's my point. I don't, right. Well, okay. My point is, I don't think it subsides the pain. I think it just. I think maybe you could. Uh, maybe you can get over it faster because you're focused on something else. But I don't think it would make the actual pain itself easier because you still you're still gonna feel that. You know what I mean? Like, well. Maybe so are don't. you saying you wouldn't promote your whoop de whoop? You would just be like, you know what? I just need some time, and then well, they would be like, what the fuck? Whoop to begin with, but if I that's why this question is hard for me because I wouldn't have I had a whoop to whoop. I think you guys use your imagination. <laughs> if, if, I I had, if I had a whoop to whoop, I wouldn't promote them because they were a whoop to whoop. <laughs> but that, but is, that is a common then thing. That though. is when going to Brandon, I think that's when you're it could be a stalking type situation because the whoop to whoop probably already had plans in there and like. Okay, I just need to get this nigga out of the way. You know, now he gone. So what's good with you? They be like, oh no, no, no. You There's still. There's been plenty of times where the side dude has become the main dude. I, I, I mean, and then the food dude has become the side dude, and then you know what I'm saying. So on, the so food, forth. The food, the food <laughs> you know how y'all do sometimes. Y'all might have a dude for food, or might have Not a dude. Y'all, for... but <laughs> no, yeah, I don't. Do it. Some women, I knew people some women, who literally some went women. out with certain guys just because they right. Food. So right. I know what you're talking about. Right. I, I t speaking of the food, like I just had a, a, a new guy recently. He asked me, he said, "Yo, what's where's your favorite restaurant?" And you know that that question puzzled the heck out of me. One because with COVID, we ain't really been able to go to restaurants like that, you know. And then two, I'm like, do y'all want to go? I don't have a favorite restaurant. Like I got three types of food genres that I love. But I was like, do I need to get a favorite restaurant? It's for like when guys be like, "What's your favorite restaurant? Where you want to go?" Or should I take this opportunity? Because this is what I said. I said, where, because I'm a foodie. I like different types of food and stuff and going places. So I said, where do you like? Let's go where you like so I can get to know you a little bit better. You know, because I'm going to order something off the menu, menu anyway. Because I'm a smart. foodie. I'm not a picky right. person. So, but I was like, I don't have, it hit me that I don't have a favorite restaurant. Like, I'm not an Olive Garden girl. I'm not a Red Lobster. I'm not a Chili's. Or, Ooh, take me to Applebee's, you know, like. I think it's harder for you, though, because you're you're such an experienced cook that you can go somewhere and be like, well, I can cook this at home. And that's probably the reason why you're the way you are. You know what I'm saying? Right. Courtney or Daniel, can y'all read Danielle's um, response? Because I can't, it, it won't show me her see more. Can y'all read shouldn't. It shouldn't be painful if you have a side person because you wasn't given the relationship you're all in the first place. Also, it is another way to avoid or prolong the process of getting over a person. 
basically what I said. I don't definitely agree with that. I agree with that. Kind of what I said. How in love can you be if you have a side person? Right. Right. Well, I mean, well, that's that was hold on. Before I over over talk, let me see what I. Well, then that goes into the topic number three, but we we won't skip it. We we go there. <laughs> Okay, uh, I do see what Brandon said. Brandon said, I've seen a, a, a nigga have four, five side girls and still stalking the one that left him. Because oh, that oh. one got his heart. Oh, no. Oh, see. The one see, got that, his heart. That, that's borderline restraining order, mace, and stun gun. Because, like, you're not going to have all these girls and still be. <laughs> Come on, bro. Like, that's too much. Man, you need therapy. <laughs> Therapy. Yeah, get for therapy on this show. He need therapy and a restraint. She need a restraining order. All right. Um. He also said they called the food bait. Oh, oh. Nigga numbers save as Burger. <laughs> that's funny. But that's facts, though. It bro. is literally facts, bro. Okay, it is literally we need, facts. That, that should be a topic because if you're gonna be food bait, baby, I need more than Burger King. I'm gonna need. No, that, he's just saying that's just what the name is saved as Burger King. But, but that's like, perfect, though. I, we, I never knew about food bay. Hashtag food bay. Let me write this down. Let but me I, write this down. <laughs> you make it into a topic. Interesting to me because is there a limit on food bay? Like, should there be a, a, a level of food bay? You know, like price rise. Like, I like that. Write it down. Food bay. All right. So, um, hashtag food bay. All right. So, hashtag food bay. Okay, so I think we kind of like we're kind of like on the I think me and Daniel agree that having the whoop the whoop or the side person does make it like it kind of distracts you more. Yeah. And Courtney is more on the well, I mean if you love them, why would you have a food bag? <laughs> 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 Maybe it'll. I'm. I would think that it would help you get over it faster. I don't think right. it would help with the pain. Completely, though. yeah. So I think that's so. But we're, we're all three gonna agree that it's not. It doesn't take away the pain. It's more of a, a numbing cream. It's more of a yeah. like I said, a pacifier. You like until mm-hmm. you find. But that is interesting that, how, like what Courtney was saying, like they're just the the sexual person, um, and you. Oh, we need. We need to. It's not just no, a, I, 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 that's I, the only I, thing I disagree with. It's not just a, there has been situations where the side dude has literally been you. like, "You're she's in two relationships. She has two boyfriends. She doesn't have a boyfriend and you know a side." Dude. We need some side dudes. You can remain anonymous. You don't have to show your face up here. You can just call in. But we need some side dudes <laughs> to start calling yeah, in. Yeah, because I ain't, I don't know what that means. So y'all can have that. Some men can come over. I ain't never been no side. Yeah, yeah. Okay, too greedy yeah, yeah. We'll take you off the show. We'll take yeah. you off that day. <laughs> I am too greedy and selfish for that. I am not coming second we, we to don't nobody. Want you getting, we don't want your blood pressure getting up. But we need some. You can inbox me. We need some anonymous side dudes and anonymous list. side chicks to tell your story. Like, is it like is it? Call in. Perk, bye, bye, what, bye. what type of perks do you get from being like the side? Like, I want to know. You know. What I have, what I have, because I've had conversations with people, I will say that they say, like, they enjoy being the side dude or the side female because you get the benefits of a relationship without the responsibility. Okay, so I you don't have to, you don't have to be their therapist. You, there is no arguing because they, they don't care where y'all. They just only care when y'all when they're ready to freak or ready to get something to eat. So, like, okay. you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, there's, there's a lot less responsibility. And technically, you're still single, so you can see who you want to see. As as the side person, you know what I'm saying. But there's there's been situations where they don't they'd rather be the side dude because you don't have to kick out money like that. You ain't gotta you don't have the responsibilities that a man well, would well, have in a relationship. Don't, you don't pick, kick out that much money. I think hotels. Like I want to like I really want to talk to side people. Like really side men because I kind of know about women. I want to talk about side. I want to talk to side dudes because 
do you out like what's the sugar you ain't lying at all i'm sorry sugar said they gonna catch on to them voices they gonna have, we gonna have to put a voice modulator or something on there and make well, the I'll, extra I'll, high. I'll leave it up to the guys to call to do the download the app to disguise your voice like you know <laughs> but um like i want to know like do y'all pay for hotel rooms like is it always your responsibility to pay for hotel rooms like do you do do you go through the drive through and they got a lady seat back or is it always doordash or uh grub hub like See, that's you, too much for me. Oh. That's what I'm like, it's so interesting to me. Like I just, it's I'm, I'm intrigued. Well, people, you know? people do it. They go to great lengths. Great yeah. lengths. Yeah. Well, well, I never had a side dude before. Um, I, I have admitted that I've had a, a, I've cheated emotionally, meaning like you know, uh, just converse with a, a person, and it, it never was any, it didn't lead to anything physical because okay. I didn't, I didn't let it get that far. It could have went that far, but I didn't let it get that far. But I will say, like, guys that I don't want to be seen with, uh, and we go out of town places and stuff, like, I go doing, I don't, I never do weekends, ever. I do not do Friday through Sunday. It's always a Monday through a Thursday. Why? Because, first off, the rates are cheaper. And then, secondly, you're not going to bump into nobody like that. You know, because everybody got, y'all got jobs and shit. You know, I'm self-employed, so I ain't got to worry about, oh, ain't that? No, it's not, you know. But, um, well, yeah, but. I do want to talk to side side dudes, so I'm gonna start. Brandon with. Brandon said he'd been a side dude before. He was just used for sex. So how did that? Make so sense? tell your story, <laughs> sir. Tell us, because I don't know. So tell us, tell us your story. And and uh, and and. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that was my wooty woo. Uh, no, if y'all went out of town, that was your wooty woo. I didn't want to go. Like I. Listen, like I'm weird because I want to go, but I just didn't want to go with him. And then you can't, if somebody's spending their money, you can't be like, oh, just send me. Motherfucker want to go too. And I'm like, how are you so selfish? Like, let me just go <laughs> relax. <laughs> I relax you by so myself. Selfish. Like, just, just cash out me money, you know, just let me go, you know. But uh, so Brandon, whenever you're ready to come on and talk about, you know, your, you know, you can advertise your, your own tattooing business and everything. <laughs> advertise your tattoo business and everything and then we can also you know do a deep dive into a side nigga the life of a side nigga the life of a side nigga that's a documentary um, i'm a film oh, it is it is you gonna have guys that they want uh, the screen all blur their face out yeah it's just, just a silhouette <laughs> man i remember this like, one. i really love her man. bro but she was one of the guys who has like four to five six side chicks like i want to see how that is managed and chasing after the main girl right I want I was I would watch a documentary about that. Selfish ass nickel. But anyway. He said he said I've never paid for a room. We just messed around wherever we were <laughs> and mainly my house. That's what he said. If y'all was outside? Well, I guess that uh, she No, he probably got his own spot. But he said she, wherever. She probably would consider that spontaneous, but I would look at that as like money. He wants to some money. But all right, let's okay. Let's move on from that. Um, let's go to topic number two, which is 